What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the 30 minute rant video that I ended up making, yeah, I stuck a giveaway right at the end of the video. So if you guys cannot stand to listen to me for 30 minutes, well, you probably missed out on this giveaway. But we're giving away a Wilds package, which is like the $100 package for the Prime list that's out right now. And the winner of that is, Boom, congratulations. We'll be sending the code to you just shortly in YouTube, so make sure to check out your YouTube inbox. This week we're going to give away the same thing. How about we, we're doing pretty well with the last giveaway, so let's go ahead and do another one. So we're going to give away another Wilds package, which is another of the $100 gift packages that uh, includes the Prime List and tons of other stuff. So if you guys have not played the Vulcanist, then you are severely missing out. So in order to get into this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your character name and server. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck everybody. What's up guys, Graham here. Today I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to level in the game right now. Everyone seen me level up my prime list from level 60 to 65 in about a 30 minute span and everybody's asking me how did you do it Graham? Well wonder no more because I'm about to show you. It should be said that you need a level 65 friend in order to help you out with this because in order to really get the maximum benefit from this the level 65 is going to be killing all the monsters while you're reaping all the rewards from it. Also, if you're truly wanting to level as fast as possible, it is highly recommended that you be a patron to the game so that you get a 40% bonus to your experience, as well as use an experience file that will give you 160% bonus to your experience as well. There's other things that you can do in order to increase your experience, such as having rested experience. If you don't know what that is, it is basically having your character not going out and experiencing for a while and being in a home city that way that you'll build up rested experience and you'll get bonus from there on also if you have a lot of loyalty in the game to where you are buying things from the rift store or else cashing in rex you will get loyalty and then you'll unlock tiers some of the tiers give you a bonus to your experience as well so grab a level 65 friend pop a experience file and let's get to leveling our adventure is going to take us into the Shimmer Sand Zone of Methosia, and as you can see where my arrow is pointing, that should be about where the Charmer's Caldera Dungeon is, and that's where we're going to be doing all of our power leveling at. Whenever you get to that area, you'll see the surroundings look much like this, and the entrance is right through this valley. So all you have to do is make sure that you're avoiding all of these monsters and just run right in. It's just a matter of not getting knocked off your mount for the most part because these things will hit you and knock you off your mount and it'll be super annoying to have to walk all the way back in. Alright, so as you can see this cave comes up and then you have the entrance to the Charmer's Caldera. The friend that I brought with me was a man named Seton, if you guys have ever heard of him, and he was very gracious in power leveling up my prime list for this particular video. Now as you can see, he's going to go right into these monsters with a run speed bonus and going to smash through the content. That's going to flood my character with tons of experience. Now the rules are that you need to be level 50, as in you need to either sidekick up to level 50, or you need to mentor down to level 50 and the person that's helping you level needs to be at level 65 that way they can kill the monsters as fast as possible it is highly recommended that your friend run a spec that's going to be able to do aoe damage that's going to hit everything or else at least a spec that's going to have some kind of self-healing because he is going to be taking all the aggro and be getting a little bit of damage from all these monsters that could add up over time this dungeon is extremely easy to navigate in that it is pretty much just one continuous path that you follow. There's no real way of going in the wrong direction, so just follow the paths and kill all the monsters along the way. 
You will encounter some boss fights, but they are very easy for the level 65, so don't worry about that at all. It must be said that the last boss actually has an intro to it where you have to wait a minute or two before the fight even starts. So to speed up this process, we're going to go ahead and just skip that boss fight altogether and exit the dungeon. Once outside, you can right click on your character portrait and click on reset instances. And as you can see down in my chat box, it says that the Charmer's Caldera has been reset. That means that it is completely reset and I can go back in and do it all over again. You'll notice after doing a bunch of runs that all of a sudden you'll be locked out of the dungeon and in order to get back in you have to wait about 5 minutes or so. I chose not to do that because I was already so close to being max level I went ahead and ported over to the Deep Strike Mines and finished out my leveling process to get that gratifying ending and call it quits to leveling for now. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this leveling guide and I hope it was very easy for you to follow. I do have one request though, if this is going to be your first max level character, please do not use this guide. As in, use it on your second character or your third one or something like that because if you miss out on the fun leveling adventure from your very first character and miss out on all of Rift's very rich storyline, dungeons, PvP, all the stuff that you encounter while you're leveling up for the first time, then you're really going to be missing out on a huge part of the game and that would be very unfortunate if you did that. So please do not use this leveling guide if this is going to be your first max level character. Use it on your second or third or something like that. Okay guys, as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.